let's talk about this Cat Williams shit then, you know, since you brought it up. Right. Cat Williams did a stand up and he said, if Trick Daddy can make it, you can make a bitch. Trick Daddy got herpes, syphilis, gonorrhea, lupus, and a restaurant and a cooking show, bitch. And everybody thought I started with him because they didn't see it. Right. The reason why he said that, because he read it, he read or heard an interview when I said, when they asked me my opinion, do I think he's funny? No. The only time I, I, I thought he was funny when that little that little boy put him in the, in the chokehold. Right. <laughs> I never thought he was funny. That's my preference. Right. Kevin Hart is funny, but Kevin Hart is movie and white people funny to me. That you have to be Red Fox to be funny. Hmm. You have to be Eddie Murphy to be funny. You have to be uh, Robin Harris to be funny. Right. You got to be said the entertainment to be funny to me. You got to be Earthquake. You got to be Day Day to be funny to me. Mike Epps, you can't you can't just be funny with, with, with saying corny shit. I'm I grew up. We grew, I grew up in a project where we had jokes. But um, it's called The Walking Dead. Well, never turn off all your lights and leave your TV on because the roach is going to walk by the stream. <laughs> <laughs> so what we did was we cracked jokes on each other so much so we our, our, our skin would be thick. But you assassinated my character. You, you, you accused me of having all these diseases. You could say whatever you want to say about me. You could have said about Trick Daddy uh, used drugs. I, I, I frequent drugs. I love drugs. And show to you, you had drug problems. You got kicked off of Cat Williams. You got kicked off of tours and shit for your drug problems. Act like you forgot. Mm -hmm. But since you want to go at these people and try to sense they, they cried and they try to do something positive in life, I'm going to go at you. And the difference between me and you, since they say you're a street nigga, it's up there and it's stuck. And whatever the fuck you feel about it. I don't give a fuck how you feel about it because I mean everything I say. That's different. I'm not hiding. I'm not running. I didn't pull up with no motherfucking security. Don't, when, when you make it in life or you don't make it, something don't go your way, man, stop and, and loosen them and try to blame everybody for your misfortunes, man. Stop this. I'm, I'm tired of people tearing other people down because they couldn't do as well as the other people did. Tyler Perry, very successful. I always called Tyler Perry my dear because I never seen him play. When I seen the Alice Cross shit, I'm like, wait a minute, I got to respect this nigga in a whole other level now because I never knew that. Mm. I knew him from the plays. All I knew was my dear. I went to all the Tyler, Tyler Perry plays. Mm. So when I, that's why I had to straighten the, the, the Day Day shit because I know Mike Epps from Day Day. That, so I always called him Day Day. So now... We've been friends for over 20 years. Him and, my, him and my pops been friends for over 30 years. Now I call him Mike Ellis because I respect this man. You understand what I'm saying? But you have to be careful of what roles you play, the shit you say. The path you walk determines your destination. Anything that happened along that route, that's a part of your legacy. That ain't for me or you to drag you down about. But when me and you are going at each other, ain't no rules, nigga. Yeah. Ain't no rules.